No, it had to have be special automotive oil. Yeah, and this was a problem because the tank crews were not... Uh, there was nothing in the documentation yeah. for the tank crews to say, <laughs> don't use normal pharma, uh, pharmaceutical castor oil. You need automotive castor oil, which is mm. totally different. Mm. Particularly, uh, pharmaceutical castor oil stops functioning as a lubricant once it gets over 80 degrees. And which in an engine is something that's going to and happen. Surprisingly enough, when this system, when they did do this because they didn't know any better, um, the tank itself would become immobilized and basically become a pillbox. Mm. So there, there you go, with the gun facing the one direction it's pointing. Now, there is also a suggestion, though, that the French um, carried on about the unreliability of the NATO system purely to misdirect people so that they wouldn't copy it because yes. it actually worked quite well. Yes, it was a good system, but it was very expensive, complex, mm. and uh, so yet yeah, while they and they spread the rumor that it was prone to breakdowns and uh, mm. so forth, but re it wasn't prone to breakdowns. It was just prone to being un uh, becoming unusable because they didn't do it the right way. Mm. But um, it also, I mean, just from a supply point of view, and also this this tank required a special petrol uh, for because there was a lot of aviation yes. parts in the engine which led to the situation where German panzer divisions invading France were literally filling up at petrol stations but the French tanks couldn't mm. fill up at their own petrol stations because they uh, or gas stations to our American audience um, 